Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we got some more Volcano. We got Sweden 6. I have board D here. I'm going to start in my D5, though D8 does seem kind of spicy, but I think D5, and we're going to throw this to Han. Usually I pair up the Dahan, I think because it's Sweden, I think... I think I'm supposed to throw it in the sands here. Hope it's not sands. Okay, it's wetland. That's pretty good for us. And sand follow-up is really strong. I can roll back in here. So, very, very good explore for us. It's our best explore. Um, we're looking for a defend. I usually like to G2 top-bottom. But that means it's going to be unlikely for me to find an answer for my D3. I, I probably just let this land go because it's my it's my beast land. And also, I don't have to take a, um, a negative for my, my level 5 here. You know what? I wonder if I'm just supposed to G3 turn 1. Because I could still play Reign of Ash, and this gives me another draft. Let's experiment with this. Because, like, look at now I have Mez. This is not actually good enough here, though. Uh, maybe I just do Veil, though. As I could stop, kill my uh, my D1. Presence from bottom track here. Oh, I see the one negative here from top track. I see. So the one negative is I get less energy. It's probably okay. I see my Reign of Ash is going to be really awkward as well. I'm not going to have the range if my D D8 comes up. Probably do this. Kill this. I take the Blight here on D3. I use Lava Flows. Hopefully it's jungle. Next turn. I probably G3 here again. Mountain. Yep. Not bad. Uh, I think I want to do Lava Flows here. Just so that I can um, prevent that escalation on D2. I take the Blight here on D3. Oh, yeah, I see the, the big negative here now. I see, I see it here. I'm going to have less energy. I get the extra draft, but also it means my eruption is worse. I have to go bottom track. Let's get another miner here. It's about to say I'm looking for an answer for my D8, and I found it. I found it with a lot, actually. Enticing, Gold's Allure is spicy, Territorial Strife also works. So some options, like an Enticing Splendor, pull the town into my D7. I think I want to go Territorial. The big negative here, though, is I, well, I guess I don't need to restore a Presence, but I could go Territorial as well as Reign of Ash, and the next turn I play Ex Pyro and Exaltation. Civic Engagement. Oh, look at this. Playing around it, boys. Got that Beast Damage. And I get to pair up my Dahan, just how I had planned. Beautiful. And the explore is jungle. Well, I, I had the wilds there, but that event allowed me to push up, the, push the Dahan out. So, yeah, I mean, this is. I'm pretty sure the game is won at this point. Um, territorial strife here. Strife that. And I have a rain of ash. I could actually use that to set up Dahan to here. I don't think so. I think we just use it rain of ash here. Pushing that Explorer into my Sands. And I have the right innate. I uh, I don't think I want to use it though. And I believe I I could G2 top bottom. And I'm set up to clean out my D8. But I think I actually want to G... I could do either or. G2 or G3. G2 does get me to where I need to go. G3 means I get less energy. But I get an extra card play this turn. Now let's, let's do G3 again. G3 is king. There's Cold Iso. Wow, this is... I just keep getting hits after hits. Um, and Flame is also pretty spicy as it generates me an extra energy. Sunset Fire is pretty cool too. I'm going to destroy two presents here. I'm going to kill these two lands... I think we do Bat Scout. 
Bombardments. Kill that on D5. And I have Bath Scout to clean out my D7. Really, you could have grabbed any of those. Um, oh, Lesser Spirits. This is one of the edge case cards. Um, I couldn't even pay for it. And we ended up flipping a plant card. So I ended up losing a light and an animal. So I would have lost a Dahan, but no Dahan in um, uh, in Blighted Lands. Gather Dahan to a land with Dahan setup symbols. I guess I'll go you here. Ravage skip. Hilarious. There's the explorer and bat scout is perfect. Kill that. And I could get a power card here. I don't think I need it though. And we reclaim here. And if we just need to find an answer for my D4, I mean, we're phenomenal position here. So reclaim, let's get a major. There's pent up, unrelenting thickets. These are all game winners. Uh, pent up is is pretty insane. As I could do something like lava flows and territorial this turn, and then I can pent up for a ton of damage. I could just do this. Tons of damage here, and then next turn. Alternatively, I could do... I do Lava Flows here. That's probably okay, that, that's... You're also Unrelenting. Yeah, this is probably fine. I don't think it really matters here. We just pick top. I actually could pay for this. I really wanted to. It actually could be very good to pay for it, right? I could forget Bat Scouts, pay two energy, forget Veil, and then I have a passive defend four. Let's do it. Pay two energy, forget Veil. Well, now that's that's really good. I can go this there. Now I have two tokens there for um, a pent up. Actually, I think I can do this. I could do this at six damage. That's defended, and then I can kill this. I think it's GG here. We're very close. I can go presence. Presence. I'm actually a little bit off here, so let's go with the energy here. Elemental boon. I don't think it matters though. We play these cards. Energy pent up. And, oh, I get my, my tokens back because I thresholded this card. That's crazy, right? Because Exaltation, I, I, yeah, I forgot, I guess. And we win in the Ravage step. I could actually win right now with a Sacrifice Victory off this card. I destroy, oh, no, I could just not Sacrifice. I just destroy three here. I can kill this town here. GG. Wow, very, very easy game for us. I mean, this is a matchup that is very strong for a Volcano. I mean, we did get a good Explorer. Um, I mean, obviously the worst Explorer would have been some form of Sands. Um, I mean, Volcano can handle, you just take Blight to scale. I mean, I took, I was going to take the one Blight to scale. Sometimes you take a little bit more. Yeah, uh, what was it, Sands, Wetlands into Mountain. I mean, Mountain is the worst, right? Because that's that land eight. But like your volcano, right? So you still have an answer for it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think the coolest part was starting off with G3. I think I have to explore like a G3 spam opening a little bit more. 
Um, I really like the G2 followed by G3 as you get that extra passive income off the energy, off top track. But the extra G3 means you get an extra a card gain. And you, that plus two energy does matter. Um, I, I think probably having the most presence in your stack is the most important, right? Because you do lose out on the three presence stack starting the... Um, so you lose out on that extra range on turn on that first turn. But definitely an opening to explore more of. If you like this video, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.